Hey guys, what is going on? So I've got something special for you today, and that is how to take your Spark and make a handheld gimbal out of it. All right, I know this is kind of ridiculous because the Spark is a drone and you use a handheld gimbal to support other cameras to get some cool stabilized footage. But people are doing this with the Mavic. You know, there's a company that made even a grip, a two-handed grip where you can take the Mavic and run around, you know, use it as a handheld gimbal. Guys, if you haven't seen it, check out my review on it. I did a little testing with it. But guys, I know someone's gonna come out with a product for the Spark, but it's actually something that you could create very easily yourself. I was able to create this out of a few products I had laying around from some of my other cameras and some of my other camera pieces. Let me show you what it is. All right, don't laugh. I know it looks a little ridiculous, but here you go. This is the Spark handheld stabilizer. So basically what it is, is the Spark attached to a Joby tripod with a mount for your phone, because when you're using a handheld gimbal, you want your hands free of holding the Spark or the phone. You basically want a unit that acts as an independent unit and you can run around and get some cool stabilized footage. I do have some thoughts on using a drone as a drone or a drone as a handheld stabilizer. I prefer to keep them separate, but if there's a situation where you only have one camera, say you're just bringing the Spark with you, you don't want to carry another additional handheld stabilizer because they do get bulky even some of the smaller ones well you could get a few extra little pieces and you can make this contraption which actually works really well so basically what it is is that I've used a GoPro connection here to stick onto the battery it doesn't block any of the sensors or anything there's no issues there not that you're gonna use those anyways but you don't want to like gum up the sensors so I've used the sticky on the spark itself I've hooked it to a tripod mount the tripod mount goes to the Joby the Joby is it has a clean clamp on it that has a ball mount with the phone. That is the entire contraption. And it it's awesome because with the Joby, you could do this with a smaller little single tripod and you can do the same setup and make it a lot smaller. But the one thing I do like about using one of these bendable tripods is that when you bend this, you can now make a two-handed stabilizer just as the Katano is and you know some of the other stabilizers that I really like using. Two hand makes a big difference. And if you wanna just use a one-handed stabilizer, you just bend these back and you can run around with this. And the cool thing about using a Joby is that you basically can run around and get some cool stabilized footage. I know the, the spark is tiny and you can fly this in a lot of places. There's definitely those situations where you can't, national parks for example, you can't fly in national parks, but if you wanna get some cool stabilized footage, you don't have a handheld stabilizer, but you have your drone and you're still going there, put this together, have it in your backpack, pop it out. You could still use your spark in those situations where you can't fly. And guess what? You have some awesome stabilized footage. Let me break down each part and how I made it so you guys can really see how this is put together. I'll also include in the description below a link to these different products so you can see what I used. You could also you could get those or you could get something similar and make this Frankenstein handheld gimbal yourself. The first things first is I got a clamp. This clamp hooks on to any sort of pole. You know this is a great just clamp in general. I have this hooked to a ball mount. The ball mount allows me to put the phone in any direction that I want. And then last is the phone holder itself. And the cool thing about building this mount onto the Spark, as opposed to the Mavic, for example, is that there is a setting in, D in the DJI app that allows you to use the tilt of the camera as you tilt the phone. So now you can create some really cool dynamic shots with this handheld stabilizer because Guess what? You had turned the setting on and as you're walking and use the whole unit and push it down. So for example, you're walking and you start tilting it like this, the camera's now gonna follow. And the same thing if you start tilting up, the camera's gonna follow up. And that was one of my big things with the Mavic is that when you put it in a handheld gimbal stabilizer like the Katana, you can't get those cool dynamic shots where you're moving in one direction and then tilting. With this, you can. It's the ability in the phone to, to track the movement of the phone to tilt the gimbal. It's pretty cool and it works well when it's all put on this tripod like that. You just bend the whole thing down. It starts tilting the camera, it's great. All right, so let's go to the next section. So you got the tripod. Guys, if you're a vlogger, you probably have one of these. If you are if you don't, guys, I know a lot of you probably have a tripod like this, it's great. And then this connection here, let me just pop this off. So what I've used is, is a sticky from the GoPro that usually attaches like the helmet. And I've attached that right on the bottom here. And then we'll pull off the tripod. You just have, you know, the bendable tripod. And then this is a tripod mount 
GoPro, the sticky GoPro, and I've just screwed it together. So that's it, it's only a few pieces. I had all this laying around, I just put it together and started playing with it and it, it works just as well as the Mavic Katana two-handed thing that you can buy for your Mavic. But this allows you to take your Spark, make a handheld gimbal that now with the Joby you can bend in all different directions and you can do some really cool stuff with it. Guys, I know this is a, a crazy contraption that's thrown together with a bunch of different camera parts, but hey, it works. And I know a lot of you are interested in using your drone, whether it be the Mavic, or the spark as a handheld gimbal so you know this allows you to take the spark do something different with it get some of that really cool footage on the ground running doing some like super smooth stuff chasing people and you don't have to fly it so you could probably run in and out like you could do a lot of situations where you're not necessarily allowed to fly so I think this is a cool thing for you guys to go out and create try something different with your spark but guys that's it. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on creating this handheld gimbal from scratch using just some different camera pieces. Let me know if you decide to build one yourself and I'd love to see your results. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will see you on the next one.